Alright guys, this is Ratchet, so here we are playing Criminal Case, City of Romance, Case 1, Corpse Chick. Let's all out chapter 2 and there's a beef with Nadia and Commissioner, they say. Yeah, poison. Hey God, what is all that commotion? None, but you're talking out of your backside here. Nadia, what are you? Aha, the only person spotting hot, hot there is you, my dear. How dare you question my tastes? I'm as refined as they come. Nadia, High Commissioner, what seems to be the matter here? It's simple, my dear Hugo. I brought along this delicious cinnamon infused Paris press from Cafe del Frofru to welcome our new recruits. But Nadia here doesn't believe in tapering with the classics. It is pure sacrilege. I thought you were better than this, High Commissioner. My friends, I'm too I too am a purist. But the more important matter here is that we know that the Paris press our curry eats also has cinnamon on them. High Commissioner, you said that you brought these pastries from Le Frofru. That the crew must have gone there too. Which means so must we. What excellent slotting skills. Officer Katrina, I look forward to getting to know you. Officer James, please stay. I'm afraid you have some annoying paperwork to complete. Alright, Katrina, you heard the High Commissioner. Let's continue our investigation at Café Le Frofru. Okay. Yeah, you posing for photo shoot. Still no boosters here. But I think it's supposed to come on level 5. Hmm, nice cafe. I like it. I think we found a murder weapon. Oh, I need a photo as well. Katrina, our hunch to visit Le Frofru prayed off. This bottle of bong rat poison has got to be our killer, sis. It's what they put inside our victi victim's perfume. We need to take a sample of that blue stain on the side of the bottle. And look, the cafe put up a fashion print of our victim. The culture is from this season, so it must have been taken recently. I recognize that male model posing with her though. Let's identify his pretty face through our database. Okay. Ah, I see you are a gar man like me. This is why you grabbed this bottle of Petit's Force, no? Ugh, I'm just here to search it. Ah, of course, you think a clue to the murder might be hidden in it. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to look through the treats, as long as you can eat some too. You eat them. And I'm just going to search through them. But first we are gonna collect this powder from the poison. That took a bit longer. Katrina, let's send a blue powder from the cure's poison bottle straight to our lab, chief. And so. Okay. Twelve hours? Oh. Looking good. 
What? I just wanted to look at you to see how it looks like. And you are Alexis Cardinat. Katria, the fellow bodily alongside our victim is one Alexis Cardinat. We should see if Monsieur Cardinat has anything interesting to share about his deceased colleague. Okay. Okay, now let's look through the bowl. Hugo, you can eat some. <laughs> oh, a ring. Who left it here? A god, Katrina. This ring lying in the bowl of Petit's four. I recognize it anywhere. It's that insignia. It belongs to that dastardly villain, Antonin Macaron. Oh, a gangster? Macaro was the head honcho of the Parisian mob, and he's been a thorn in our side for years. Hmm, that's somebody I have to meet, so I can know what he intends to do. Katria, we know our hero was at this cafe, which makes this insidious gangster's presence here all the more fishy. We need to warn him right away. Well, let's first ask him if he knew our victim. Then we'll see if he's the killer or not. All right, let's let's have a chat with this guy. What's your coordinate? We need a word with you about Elise Marks. One second, I'm ordering a Paris breast. The cinnamon flavor ones are just heavenly. What one? No. No, merci, Alexis. Did you know Elise well? Did I know her well? The girl's my best friend. Oh. As the great Voltaire said, friendship is the marriage of the soul. Okay. Zot, I hate this part. Alexis, I'm sorry to tell you that Mademoiselle Marx has been murdered. What are you talking about? Elise? Murdered? It cannot be. I'm afraid it is, and we are doing our utmost to find her killer. Do you know of any enemies she might have had? Enemies? I suppose a lot of girls were jealous of her, for obvious reasons. But I can't think of anyone who had wanted to kill her. Oh, who is me? What will my life be without my wondrous Elise? When I say best friend, you act like she's your girlfriend. Was. Your girlfriend. All right. Macaron, we meet yet again under suspicious circumstances. Ah, it is the charmant officer Brassier. I do not see what is suspicious about being a bona fide businessman enjoying a simple pastry. It is when we know that the person who murdered at least marks frequents the very establishment in which we find you. Elise Marks, the pretty model, right? She's been murdered? Don't act like you weren't already aware of it. Now you need to tell us what you know about her untimely death. What makes you think I know anything about any dead girl? I must say, though, I have been thoroughly enjoying getting to know a lot of alive models at the moment. Paris Fashion Week truly is a lot of va va -voo. All right, Macaron, we'll leave you to enjoy the sights, but rest assured I will be keeping a close eye on you. Oh, but I do have a feeling that I'm not going to rescue him right now. I think I'm going to meet him in another case. We're gonna meet each other again. What's the blue powder? Katrina, Enchante. I'm Enzo, official police lab chief. An unofficial king of hearts. No. Oh. Hey guys, I thought I'd join you to find out what the blue powder from the Curious Poison bottle is all about. Oh la la, Carrie. 
They told me you had brains, but they didn't mention what the bombshell you are. Um, thanks, I guess. Perhaps we should focus on the investigation for now. The investigation? Ah, we. Oui. I suppose you're right. For starters, a bottle of poison must definitely belong to your killer, because of the scout chase of Paris press mixed in with the blue substance. As for the sample itself, it's the dregs of a pill people take when they are allergic to dog fur. Which means your killer must be allergic to dogs. Oh, poor him. Sorry I'm late, Katrina. Did I hear that our hero is Poochaverse? Living in Paris must be a nightmare. Luckily, I'm not allergic, so let us go back to the heart of the city and take another look around the scene of the crime. Let's go. Okay, what do we have? The crisis soundtrack is better than the main menu soundtrack, <laughs> I must say. This bouquet is addressed to our victim. Let's go with the rest of what's written on the tag. I hope this expensive looking be sure will end up in such a tragic state. You should reassemble it, Katerina. Okay, let's dust the tag. Dearest at least, I hope you don't mess up yet another photo shoot. XOX. Note that the bouquet says, at least hope you don't mess up yet another photo shoot. Followed by some kisses. Katrina, that's a pretty passive aggressive message sent to our victim, don't you think? The High Commissioner is our arrest and profiler. Let's see if he can help us work out which of our suspects wrote this rather scatting note. Yeah, who would do that? Go ahead, analyze it. Now this. Elise plus Lola. Oh. Katia, this brush has Elise and Lola engraved on it. Lola must have to the photographer at the photo shoot where our victim died, which means there must have been more to their relationship than meets the eye. We need to question Lola the more again. Yeah, we need to, uh, you know. More questions, Deputy Katrina? You better make it quick. I barely have enough time to grab a Paris press from Le Frofru before my next photo shoot starts. Mademoiselle, is there something you haven't told us about your relationship with Elise Marks? Because this brush reports your name, so it indicates that you are closer than you let on. Uh, I can't believe I wasted so much money getting that thing made. The truth is, Elise and I are half-sisters. Our father left my mother when I was a baby to go chasing out her mom. When I found out we were related, I was over the moon, but I was more naive than Voltaire's candid to think that Elise would feel the same when I told her. Presumably she didn't take the relation well. Elise laughed in my face and said I was just trying to find a way to ride on her celebrity coattails. 
I felt so humiliated. I cried worse than when I discovered I was allergic to dust and had to give away my pet Labradoodle. All I wanted was a sister deputy, Katrina. Was that too much to ask? Oh, it could be you. Who wrote this mean message? Lovely to see you again, Deputy Katrina. We're going to have such fun together. I'm sure you will, High Commissioner. But for now, can we possibly discuss the passive aggressive note which was sent to our victim? Ah, uh, yes, I suppose it must work sometimes. As always, the handwriting of the note's author was extremely re revelatory. Do you see the way the P's are curled? It shows someone who is supremely chic and confident. Hmm, that could be any of our fashionable suspects. What else? Then let us turn to the slant of the H's. This indicates a female hand at work. And finally, the choice of XOX with a big kiss is firmly confirms the person as being aged over 30. Allures the suspects who wrote this task and notices a chick and confident woman over 30. Katria, that points to only one individual, Kiki Klaas. We need to find out her motive behind sending such a, such a message to the victim. Okay. That's who. Officers, you don't see any doggies around, do you? My allergies are flaring up. No dogs on our person, Mademoiselle Claus, but we do come very questions about the bouquet of flowers you sent Elise Marks. What of it? It was a nice gesture, was it not? Not if you're accompanying message implying she was prone to messing up for the shoot is anything to go by. Alright, fine. If you must know, I was furious with that spiteful girl and for good reason. Can you believe at least started trolling me online? Simply because I refused to pluck her on my website. What well, someone as famous as Elise Mark says, you are so 2018 and have pigs know more about fashion than you, people listen. You can't imagine the number of followers I lost. In fact, the only thing I gained was four and a quarter kilos from all the cinema Paris press I ended up comfort eating. You seem rather incensed by the victim's actions, but it was your class. Let's hope we don't find out you made her lose her life in revenge for your last followers. Okay. Well, Katrina, it transpires that Elise Marks was the sweet little thing her poly persona made her out to be. Not only did she reject her own half sister, but she also trolled Kiki Class simply because she refused to feature her on her website. Having said that, Alexis Cardinal had nothing but sadness for Elise's murder, which makes sense seeing as they were best friends. As for Antonio Macaron, just finding him in the same cafe that the cure frequented makes him a prime suspect in my eyes. Deputy Katarina? We need you. Brigadier Bonnet, what's the matter? It's your victim's fans. They're causing a riot. Oh. Alright, I gotta... And alright, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye. Yeah.